those who know me know I'm a bit of a gearhead. As far as I can remember, I've always loved cars, and today I'll show you some of the reasons why this happened. That's right. Today we will look at my top 10 retro racing games. If you like this kind of stuff, subscribe to the channel and leave a like so I know you're enjoying the content. As a racing lover, I grew up watching the best drivers in the world, thinking I wanted to beat like them, I wanted to drive as fast as them, experience what it's like to drive a racing car, whether it was a rally car, an F1 or a pod racer. And lots of us felt the same way. Who haven't dreamed of driving Senna's McLaren or Colin McRae's Subaru or even Anakin's pod racer. So video gaming companies alongside some of these drivers made this possible. And in this list are some of the games that made me look at cars the way I look at them today. Here is my top 10 list for retro racing games. This game was first developed for the arcades, but being developed by Sega, later was converted to most of Sega's consoles of the time. It is a great game with those 80s vibes that we all love. This game is quite like the previous one, at least in driving style, but this one has a special place in my heart since it was launched the same year I was born, and also because it was the first cartridge I had in my NES back in the day. We've talked about this game in, in my last video, but it has to be a part of this list as well, since it was the first time I had the chance to drive as one of my all-time favorite drivers, Ayrton Senna. Also, great physics and graphics for the time. <laughs> to this day I still play Mario Kart sometimes. But this original game was the one that triggered my love for this franchise. This game can be played with a bunch of friends and the latest versions can even be played online against the world's best players. Ok, these next two are almost at the same level since I had played them in similar situations, the arcade rooms. Much like a real simulator, these machines had a steering wheel and three pedals, much like a real car and were uh, so much fun. This game was everywhere, and sometimes with boots of up to 4 players, which means you could be playing with 3 of your friends at the same time in the same race. This looked easy, but a lot of skills were required. I had so much fun playing this as a kid. GTI Club was my number one to go whenever I was at an arcade room. I could be there for hours playing, trying different cars, experimenting different routes through the streets of Côte d'Azur. The car choice was the best of it. You could choose between small ladies hot hatches like the Mini Cooper or the Renault 5. Boy, this one brings back memories. I still remember playing with the micro machines in my room. I had a foldable city and everything. And the video game was just the cherry on top. This franchise grew a lot, like some of others on the list, and every game is as fun as the first one. Right after watching the first episode of the Star Wars prequel, everyone thought we had to do something with the, the poor plots or the terrible acting, or even the crazy, crazy stupid Jar Jar character. All I wanted was to drive a pod racer, and with this game I had a chance to do so.
This franchise is well known to any car guy, and this is the first of an awesome lineup, which includes great titles like Need for Speed Underground or Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Here was where it all started, and this game, though simple, was really, really fun. Some of you may know this franchise as Dirt, but it all started in 1998 with this game. With close to real physics and pretty good graphics for the time, this game was the one I binged the most when I was a kid, and is by far my number one choice out of these 10 games. And these are just some of the titles, because there were so much more racing games I played growing up. It is easy to say that this is by far my favorite genre in the gaming scene. And if it wasn't for this, I believe I wouldn't love cars and racing as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.